dear students welcome to our class today we will learn parts of a computer chapter 1 of class 3 now i am going to start the video in this video you can learn everything related to your chapter 1 related to your book everything that you want to learn everything okay so now i am going to let's start the chapter watch the video a computer is a useful machine it is used in almost every sphere of our life we can play games write letters draw pictures listen to music store information solve sums etc on a computer it can work very fast and can do many jobs at the same time in the previous class we have learned the use of computers in different fields let us review some of these areas space research offices hospitals designing defense airport animated movies and in banking a computer is one of the greatest inventions of mankind it performs the following functions input function accepts data given by the user processing function works on data according to the instructions output function gives the desired results storage function stores the information who is he he is charles babbage regarded as the father of computer okay students let us know more about computer IBM's first PC was introduced on August 12, 1981. The PC stood for personal computer, making IBM responsible for popularizing the term PC. Students, let's learn about how does a computer work. Every computer goes through the following three stages. Input the data and instructions which we enter using a keyboard or a mouse into a computer is called input we can enter numbers words pictures or sounds as input processing after entering the data and instructions in a computer the cpu works on the input to give us meaningful information this is called processing output The meaningful information that we get after processing is known as output. This input process output IPO cycle can be understood with the help of an example. Suppose you want to calculate the total marks of different subjects on a computer. See how the processing takes place in a computer. The first step is to input data and instructions that is marks and plus symbol. 90 85 69 98 76 Then the computer works on the data on the basis of given instructions 90 plus 85 plus 69 plus 98 plus 76 84 In the end computer gives meaningful information and result which will be 502 On the basis of the total marks obtained the teacher calculates the percentage of a student and finds his or her position in the class Likewise we all perform various tasks by following the IPO input process output cycle Let us understand it through some day-to-day -day life examples. What are the steps that your mother follows when she prepares a cup of tea? Look at the example given below. Take some water, tea leaves, milk and sugar. Boiling water, tea leaves, milk and sugar is processing. Tea is ready. Let us take another example. What do you do when you want to talk to your friend on a telephone? Input is dialing the number. Process is connecting the number. And output will be talking to your friend. 
Now we shall discuss about parts of a computer. A computer has four main parts which help in performing the IPO cycle. Keyboard A keyboard is used to type data and instructions into the computer. The commonly used keyboard has 104 keys which can be divided into many groups based on their functions. Typing alphanumeric keys Control keys Function keys Navigation keys Numeric keypad Number 1. Typing keys These keys include letters, alphabet keys, numbers, number keys, punctuation like full stop, comma, colon, semicolon, single quote, double quote and special symbols like plus, minus, semicolon, dollar, etc. keys. These keys also include the shift, caps lock, space bar, backspace and the tab keys. Number 2. Control keys. These keys are either used alone or in combination with other keys to perform certain actions. Control, Alt, Windows, Logo key and the Escape key are various examples of control keys. Number 3. Function keys. They are used to perform specific tasks. They are placed on the top row of the keyboard and are labeled as F1, F12. These keys have different functions in different programs. Number 4. Navigation keys. These keys are used for moving through the documents and editing the text. These keys include the arrow keys, home, end, page up, page down, delete and insert keys. Number 5. Numeric keypad. The numeric keypad consists of number of keys from 0 to 9. The arithmetic operators and the decimal points similar to their parents on a calculator. It is placed on the right side of the keyboard and is used for entering numbers at a fast speed. Monitor A monitor looks like a TV screen. It displays the work that we do on a computer. It also displays the results and movement of the mouse pointer on the screen. A monitor is also known as VDU, Visual Display Unit. The information that we see on a monitor is called soft copy. There are three types of monitors. CRT, cathode raised tube monitors. CRT monitors are bigger in size and consume more power. Liquid Crystal Display LCD Monitor They are monitors with flat screens that consume less power. LED Light Emitting Diode Monitor These monitors have better display. These are thinner and lighter in weight. LED monitors use 40% less power than LCDs and last longer. These monitors are in maximum use nowadays. Okay, now let us talk about CPU, that is Central Processing Unit. It is the brain of a computer that processes all the instructions given to the computer. It does all the calculations and displays the result on the monitor. It also stores a lot of information. A CPU is made up of three main parts. They are MU, CU and ALU. MU memory unit. In memory unit, we can store information or data according to our needs. The information in the memory can be changed and recalled on the screen when needed. The data and instructions are also stored in the memory unit which are to be processed. CU control unit. The control unit works like a traffic policeman. It controls and manages the working of all parts of a computer. Arithmetic and Logic Unit This unit performs all arithmetic calculations like addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. It also performs logical operations. Alright, now we shall discuss about mouse. A mouse is a pointing device. It is connected to the CPU by a cable. A mouse usually has two buttons on it. It is used to point, 
select and move any object on the screen. When we move a mouse with our hand, a pointer on the screen moves in the same direction. It also helps to draw pictures. Nowadays, the most commonly used mouse is the one that has a scroll wheel in the center of the two buttons. Okay students, let us do an activity using a mouse. Click on start, then go to scroll down to paint 3D to open paint 3D program. Select the oval tool in the 2D shapes menu. Now drag the pointer on the drawing area to draw the oval shape. The all apps option has been omitted in the Windows 10 Anniversary Edition. Now you can look for various applications directly by clicking the start button. Alright children, let me tell you what makes a computer powerful. Speed a computer works very fast and can do large number of calculations quickly. Reliability. Computers are quite reliable. They do not make any mistakes. Storage. A computer can store a large amount of data which can be used anytime. Versatility. A computer can perform a variety of tasks and is used in almost all fields. Accuracy. A computer always gives correct results. Mistakes are normally done from a user's side. Diligence. A computer can work for long hours without getting tired. Multitasking. A computer can do many things at the same time. Let us discuss about disadvantage of a computer. A computer is a useful learning tool, but it has some disadvantages too. Some of them are as follows. Zero IQ. Intelligence quotient. A computer does not have an IQ or its own intelligence. By mistake, if you enter the incorrect input, it will give the wrong result. Help. Working on a computer for a long hours could affect your eyesight. It can also become the cause of obesity in people. Electricity. A computer depends on electricity and cannot work for a long time without it. Costly. It is a costly device. Note. Gigo means garbage in, garbage out. It implies that if you enter wrong input, the computer will generate wrong output. Okay, students.